hello again so today i am going to be trying out this kit right here which is the modelones dip powder kit so i purchased this product on amazon i've had it for a few weeks already and i've been waiting for the time to actually try it out for you guys and give you a review okay so this is an insert and um, I wanna thank you for coming to my channel, for clicking on this video. If you've never watched any of my videos before, welcome, my name is Karen. I'm going to be posting some more nail videos in the future because I just made a huge order on Shein of nail products. I also bought more nail products on Amazon as well as more magnetic lashes from other brands and lashes from Shein and there's a whole lot of stuff coming, uh, plus more hauls from Shein. I just spent a lot. <laughs> On with the video. So I'm gonna show you what's inside, what comes in the kit, and then I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about my nails and what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, so inside this kit, we have instructions. The instructions are actually the same thing that you see from the outside. It brings six different powders. I'm actually gonna insert a, a photo of what it shows on Amazon because you can't really tell just by looking at this. All right, then it also brings a little brush to brush off excess. It brings three different bottles. It says number one, number two, and number three. Number one, it says base. Number two says activator. And number three says gel top. And it also brings some extra little caps. I suppose that the way that you use this dip powder kit is with your natural nails and you kind of just dip them. And the whole idea is to get kind of like a um, salon manicure. But look at my nails. My nails, I'm always biting them. They're pretty short, very, very short. And so, I'm not gonna be putting this on my real nails. I'm actually gonna be using um, press on nails and then doing it on the press on nails. All right, um, another thing that I did wanna share with you is that today I'm actually wearing fake eyelashes and I usually don't wear fake eyelashes, but today I wanted to be a little bit bolder. So I'm wearing the um, Kiss Lash Couture Full Mint Collection Little Black Dress eyelashes and the packaging looks like this obviously they're on my eyes already hopefully i have them on the correct way but i doubt that i highly doubt that because this one right here i think it's sitting on the eyelash and not on my actual skin so <laughs> it is what it is i'm actually going to start trying out the dip kit so according to the instructions first i'm going to put on um the dip powder base which is number one I'm gonna brush it on my nail and this dries really quick. So I'm supposed to like quickly uh, stick my nail in one of these powders in a 45 degree angle and brush the sides of it so that, um, so that there's like no powder on the sides of it. I'm supposed to let that dry for 30 seconds. And after it has dried for 30 seconds, then I am going to brush it with number two, which is the activator. And then I'm supposed to let it dry for one minute. And then I can, after one minute, I can go ahead and um, file my nails if I want to, to a desired shape. And I could also use the 240 grit buffer to smooth the nail surface if it's rough. And right after that, I'm gonna apply the top coat and wait 60 seconds more. So let's begin. I do not have a buffer. Okay, so I am going to start out with my pinky and move on from there. Okay, so it says to put it in, in a 45 degree angle. And now I'm supposed to wait 30 seconds. It's been about 30 seconds, right? So 
I'm going to go ahead and put on number two, which smells really bad. I think that this is what's supposed to like harden the whole thing. So let's start out with number one, which is the base. Yeah, this is not gonna last very long. I can tell already that this is not going to last very long. Like for so many nails. And I'm supposed to just dip in an angle like so. It doesn't say to do this, but it's kind of and I have to be like extra careful not to take it off of the actual nail. I think this one's ready by the way to use number three on it, the gel top coat. This one I'm supposed to wait 30 seconds. Remember that it was like 30 seconds for this one. For the activator. All right. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the activator on it. Remember the activator is the one that smells really bad. It smells like nail salons. And that one's gonna dry for a minute. And this one's gonna dry for a minute as well. So I'm gonna put the top coat on it, which is number three on this one. All right. Oh, that is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I want to be able to show you really well. So right now I have to let both of these dry for a minute. I have the rest of the fingers right here that I still have to do, but I think it's been about 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is um, start on the other one, start on this one and then I'm going to wait. 30 seconds for that. Okay, let's go ahead, number one. Number one, okay, right here. I think that one's good. So I am going to add number three to this one right here. And first I'm gonna go ahead and take off excess on both of these on this one though i'm actually going to run the brush on top of it on this one i can't run the brush yet so let me go ahead and do number three on the hot pink Number three smells like new houses, new constructions. Okay, so that's what it looks like right there. Isn't that pretty? It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this one I'm supposed to use number two. And I think, yeah, I think it's time to use number two, which is the activator. Let's go ahead and use the activator on this. Okay. 
Okay, now I have to wait one minute for the activator to go ahead and um, activate itself. And after a minute, I can go ahead and put the top coat on it, the gel top coat. For now, um, I am gonna start on this one. It's very gel. Number one is the gooeyest of them all. It's number one bottle. And it's the one that dries really quick. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna stick my finger in there. Oh, that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. I hope I'm honestly, I really hope that I'm able to get more than one whole set. <laughs> I really hope I'm able to get one, more than one set. Okay, so that one's been drying. It just needs the top coat, which is the number three. This one has to dry for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna go ahead and put number two, which is the activator. I mean, I'm gonna start on my last nail, which is the purple and I don't even know if I should use the purple, but I'm going to use it. Okay. I think it's about time for me to put um, the top coat on that middle nail, but we'll see. Okay. See, I'm next to the sink right now. Since I'm next to the sink, I'm able to brush it off to the side. Okay, let's do number three on this middle nail. It's nice and hard, by the way. I can feel it. That's number three. And I am going to do number two which is the activator on this nail right here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for, um, for about a minute. Okay, so this is activator. They suggest that you don't touch your skin. <laughs> kind of makes it really dry and feel weird. Okay, so I'm putting the top coat on this nail right here. Which is that gel top coat. Okay, so these four are done. Well, I'm just gonna let them um, dry a little bit. And after they're dry, I am going to go ahead and show you what they look like. All right, so this is what they look like. And right now I still haven't washed my hands. Like I haven't washed off the, the extra powder. So I have powder right there. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the other hand and then I'm gonna come back and show you the final results. Okay, so you just saw how I used the dip powder kit and this is what my nails turned out looking like. As you can see on this hand right here, I tried to use all of the colors that um, come in the kit except for the clear one. These colors actually have names. Um, the one that is transparent is called clear and that's the only one I remember. <laughs> <laughs> but I will put the picture from Amazon on the screen. So I just went on their website and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to link the product itself. I'll probably link to the actual brand 
just because I did not find these anymore. These were unavailable and I don't know if they're gonna come back in stock. But I had seen before that they had other kits that were different colors with the same stuff, just different colors. So yeah, this is what they turned out looking like. They're so cute. Like, I really like this. Like, it just looks like something from a salon. The only thing is that obviously it's my first time using it and it is not perfect. Like, there's certain issues that I came across. And let me start out by saying that if you do this at home, if you decide to uh, do the powder dip kit at home, make sure you have some type of rotary tool, like a buffer or even if it's a nail file that's a buffer because on this one right here there was like a ridge and I don't know if you can tell but there was like a ridge like a little um, mountain sort of like uh, a ridge I guess that's what it's called it's a ridge I was trying to take it off with a regular emery board I don't have anything else and it started taking off my color and so that's not good the other problem that I had was not putting it on my actual nails and like getting it on my skin because as you can see around, let me see, this one right here in the middle, there is some of it around it and it hardens and it just feels like it's pulling my skin. This one as well, same thing, it came out of the lines and it looks really weird. And let's see, any other ones? No. Okay, so that's the second thing. Make sure that you get the all of the uh, polishes, oh, like all of the products that come in it, keep them inside your nail. <laughs> okay, the other thing that is very important is to follow the directions and not push your finger into the powder. Instead, put it on a 45 degree angle and when you put it on a 45 degree angle, it's not gonna push the product up because if not, then it's gonna leave bumps. So try to put it on a 45 degree angle like they say on the instructions and you should be fine. After you put that on, they tell you to brush off the excess that's on your actual nail. It's interesting because in some videos that I watch, uh, people would just like lightly um, brush it off the whole thing and I tried doing that with one of my nails and some of it actually came off because I did that it came off and then it left like a weird texture on it so don't do that um, okay see this one right here it looks streaky let me see if you can see I don't know if you can tell but it looks streaky and that's because that's because I used the, the brush to brush off the excess, but I actually used it on top of my nail as well. And that's right after um, putting, that's right after dipping my nail in the powder. So some of the powder came off and if the powder comes off, then the powder is what gives it the color. So you're not gonna have color in that area that the powder came off. So don't use it on top of that and if you have a smaller brush like I, I really don't suggest you use the brush that comes with it use it for something else use it for your like blush use it for face powder I don't know use it for something else it looks like a kabuki brush um, use a smaller little brush that's a little more precise so you could take off the excess powder on the actual skin all right so I just took off my mic so it's gonna sound a little bit different but um, I just wanted to add that you don't necessarily have to do just one color on your nails. There are many different ideas on the website and also from people that have tried it that have tried um, to use two different shades or try to do kind of an ombre effect with a clear. There's a lot of inspiration photos on Amazon from other customers as well as the actual brands. So I say go ahead and experiment. Another thing also is that if you run out of activator or like base coat or top coat, I believe that this brand also sells them um, in packs, like the three of them or individually, I'm not sure. But you can also mix and match. So you can use this powder with other brands. 
because some people had asked that and yes um people have tried it and it does work with other brands of activator of base of top coat anyways thanks for watching this video have a great day and stay safe out there <laughs> bye